Now, how does this stack up against our competitors? Well, our competitors in the consumer notebook space are Dell and Compaq. So how do we stack up against them? Let's take a look at weight. We're 4.9 pounds. Dell is basically two pounds heavier than we are. Compaq is over two pounds heavier than we are. That's a lot. In terms of thickness, we're 1.3 inches. They are both 1.7 inches, dramatically thicker. In terms of displays, they all have 12-inch displays, but of course, as we just heard, all 12-inch displays are not created equal. They have the old 800 by 600 displays. We have the first 10 by 7 display in a consumer notebook. So dramatically different display. In terms of battery life, five hours for the new iBook, one and a half hours for the Dell. That's not going to get you very far. Firewire. Yes, no, no. Built in on the iBook, no, no on the others. Ethernet, built in, no, no. <laughs> and antennas, built in, no, no. So built ins and no's. I think there's a pattern there. We can connect to almost anything with this new iBook. Here's the connectors on it, right? Almost anything you can connect to. So we've got a 56K modem built in, of course. We've got Ethernet built in. We've got FireWire built in. We've got two USB ports built in. And new to our consumer notebooks, we've got VGA port built in, so you can hook right into a projector. And we've got headphone and sound out and composite video out as well on that same jack, so you can hook right into a television, which some people like to do in education for projection onto a class. So you can connect to almost anything with the new iBook. Now we've got optical drives. We've got a choice of four different optical drives. Some people leave optical drives out of their notebooks. We think people need optical drives in their notebooks, so we build them in. And we have a choice of four different ones. A CD-ROM for playing games, a DVD-ROM for watching movies, a CD-RW drive for burning discs, or a combo drive which has a DVD-ROM for watching movies and a CDRW drive for burning discs. You can select one of these four. And again, you can watch movies or burn discs right on this incredibly small notebook computer. Durability is also very important in these devices. And the prior iBook set a standard for durability in notebook computers. The new iBook's even more durable. It's got a magnesium frame, uses polycarbonate plastic, the same stuff they make bulletproof vests out of, and the drive is rubber mounted. And in our testing, the new iBook is about twice as durable as the one it's replacing. We think this will set a new standard of durability for notebook computers. And it's affordable. Um, the prior iBook started at $14.99 with all of these new features with a, <clears throat> the thinnest, lightest notebook in its class, with a 10 by 7 screen, with all of this I.O. built in, starts at $12.99. $12.99. We have four models. They all have a 500 megahertz G3 processor in them. They are the fastest notebook in their class. They all, <clears throat> they all have a 12.1 inch TFT display, and they all have 10 by 7 resolution even the entry model. The entry model has 64 megabytes. The remaining models have 128 megabytes of memory. Those are the four drives, and these are the four prices. $12.99 for the entry with a CD, $14.99 for the DVD, $15.99 for the CDRW, and $17.99 for the combo. And all four of these models will be available in mid-May. About two weeks from now, we'll start shipping it. So we're really, really pleased with this new iBook. We've been working on it for a while, as you might imagine. So these are all the specs. This is how it compares. You know the models. You know the prices. But you don't know what it looks like. <laughs> so let me show you. What's the design of this thing? Uh, the design of the new iBook takes some cues from the PowerBook G4 Titanium. It's not made out of titanium, but it takes some of its design cues. And let me show you now what it looks like. Before I do, though, let me, you know, there's, um, 
Michael Dell said some disparaging things about us lately, <laughs> publicly, and uh, we're not going to engage in that sort of thing, but let me show you their product. This is their consumer notebook, and uh, it looks like this, and you can just sort of see it's about that thick, and it's got some nice fans in the back, so you can keep an eye on them. And uh, <laughs> so this is, this is what theirs looks like. And uh, let me show you the new iBook. This is the new iBook. 1.3 inches thick. There it is. I don't think it could be more black and white. <laughs> <laughs> so let me show you these things thickness-wise, too. You see that? You know? You can look at the backs of them. We even pay attention to that. So let me show you what this thing looks like again. This is the new iBook here. That's what it looks like open. It's really clean. It's got this amazing hinge. Watch when you open it. See how it goes away and down like that? It's really nice. So, the new iBook. Let me show you some photos of it. It's really, really wonderful to carry around much smaller than anything you've seen in its class. And again, in use, it's ergonomically wonderful. Now, what's really interesting about this and hard to tell from a distance is how small this thing really is. It's about 9 by 11. And if you notice, that's not much bigger than an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Right? Now, I've punched a hole in this photograph for an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And you can see how little pokes out from that paper. As a matter of fact, the iBook is only 9% larger than an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. It's amazingly small and 1.3 inches thick. New iBook. Here's the side. You can see the connectors on it. And again, you can see it open like this. Any angle you'd like. And the screen, again, is delicious, just wonderful, 10 by 7 screen. It's perfect for running Mac OS X. Really, really runs Mac OS X well on the screen. So this is the new iBook.